Well, good morning. This is Steve Jones, uh, 10.30 a.m. on May 17, 2022. We're on the Richard Martin Rails to Trails. It's actually a National Historic Park right here at the Battle of Sulphur Creek Trestle site. I'm with Chris Stullinger, and we're scouting this trail for the June 11th, 2022 Ali hike. Ali is the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. And we're standing here and looking northbound now. This is where the Sulphur Creek Trestle was located. That was the reason for there being a Union garrison here to protect, protect the trestle. And here is what the trestle looked like in January of 18. 64 and it was in September of 1864 that Confederate troops from the south from down around Athens some 3,500 of them attacked this particular fortification overwhelmed it and some 200 Union troops killed just 40 Confederates killed and 800 plus Union troops were captured in the engagement. We're looking at, again, northbound now, there is no longer a trestle here. The railroad, the Tennessee and Alabama, I believe, operated uh, post-Civil War for another 120 years. But the Confederates burned the, the garrison uh, and also burned the trestle. This is looking west, some fields down there. And once more, I'm gonna look south. And we encourage uh, all those who live here and are part of Ollie to visit this site sometime. We're about 1.1 miles south of Elkmont. And again, it's a Richard Martin rails to trail. I've biked the entire thing that runs from Athens to the Tennessee line. And this was the bloodiest Civil War battle fought in Alabama. Worth seeing, and I hope if you're an Ollie member, or maybe if you're not, join us June 11 of 2022. We're going to meet at Elkmont, which is just 1.1 miles to the north. This is Steve Jones with Chris Stullinger uh, bidding you adieu.